Hello from Who Died Today America, and welcome back to our channel. In the past few days, we have received somber news about the passing of extraordinary talents. Today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. Additionally, we will recap the stars whom we have recently lost. Before we begin, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Brigitte Garcia, a rising leader in Ecuadorian politics and the vibrant young mayor of San Vicente, passed away tragically at the age of 27. Elected in October 2023 as the youngest mayor in the country, Garcia was a beacon of hope for her community. She represented the Citizen Revolution Party and dedicated herself to improving San Vicente's infrastructure and economic prospects. Born on January 27, 1997, in Canoa, Garcia was not only a politician, but also a trained nurse and social worker. Her journey in public service began at a young age, demonstrating her commitment to making a difference. Her election victory, with substantial support from her constituents, highlighted her vision for progress and development. During her time as mayor, Garcia focused on practical initiatives to enhance the lives of those she served. She prioritized projects to improve drinking water quality, sewer systems, and boost local industries such as tourism, agriculture, and fishing. Her leadership was characterized by dedication and a hands-on approach to governance. The tragic events surrounding Garcia's passing on the evening of March 23, 2024, alongside her colleague Jairo Lormeza, have deeply saddened the nation. Their untimely deaths have sparked questions about their safety and the need for enhanced security measures. Garcia's absence leaves a void not only in her family in San Vicente, but in the entire country. Garcia's legacy as a young leader with progressive ideas and a commitment to public service will endure. As investigations into her passing continue, it is essential that justice prevails for Garcia, Meza, and the community they served. Kay Benbo, a distinguished British broadcasting executive and the influential controller of CBeebies from 2010 to 2017, passed away at the age of 62 in March. Benbo, born in Sheffield, embarked on her journey in broadcasting after graduating from St. Hugh's College, Oxford, with a degree in theology in 1980. Her career at the BBC began in 1984, marking the start of a significant contribution to children's television. Benbow's tenure at BBC Children started in 1988, moving to CBeebies upon its launch in February 2002. Her leadership saw CBeebies being awarded the BAFTA Children's Award for Channel of the Year four times during her reign, in 2010, 2011, 2013, and 2016. Recognized for her dedication to children's programming, Benbow was awarded an honorary degree from Sheffield University in January 2017, celebrating her commitment to engaging young viewers with quality television. In July 2017, the BBC announced the closure of the controller of CBeebies post, leading to Benbow's departure at the end of that year. Reflecting on her career, Benbow expressed pride in CBeebies' success and its impact on its young audience, hoping that the channel continued to inspire and positively influence children's lives. Beyond her professional accomplishments, Benbow's personal life was filled with joy and love. She was married to Ian Stubbs in June 1991, and the couple had two sons, born in 1994 and 1998, who attended John Hampton Grammar School in High Wycombe. Benbow resided in South Bucks until her passing. Kay Benbow's legacy in children's television is profound, having shaped CBeebies into a beloved channel that has enriched the lives of its young viewers. Her vision, dedication, and passion for providing the very best in children's content will be remembered and cherished. Calla Johnson, known to many as the Traveling Mermaid on TikTok, has tragically passed away at the age of 34 on March 15th. The news was shared by her sister, Victoria Johnson, in a heartfelt post on Facebook, where she expressed the family's profound grief and the unknown circumstances surrounding Calla's sudden death. 
We know nothing at the moment, Victoria wrote, asking for patience and understanding during this incredibly difficult time. Calla Johnson was celebrated on TikTok for her unique content as a flatbed truck driver, where she shared glimpses of her life on the road. Her account, boasting nearly 30,000 followers, featured engaging videos of her daily trucking adventures, from hauling loads of steel or plywood to showcasing the beautiful landscapes seen from her driver's seat. Johnson's enthusiasm for her work and her ability to hit significant milestones, like accumulating 100,000 miles on her tractor, resonated with many, making her a beloved figure within the TikTok community and beyond. A funeral service for Johnson is scheduled for March 30th in Texas, where friends, family, and fans will gather to remember the joyful spirit and adventurous soul of the traveling mermaid. As the Johnson family navigates through this unexpected loss, they find solace in the memories shared and the impact Kala had on those around her. Her sister's message, Sisters are forever, accompanied by a red heart emoji, underscores the unbreakable bond they shared and the enduring love that will forever keep Kala's memory alive. Jessica Petway, a cherished beauty influencer and YouTube content creator, passed away at the age of 36 after a challenging battle with stage three cervical cancer. The devastating news was shared by her sister, Rainy Brown, on social media, marking a sorrowful moment for both her family and the vast community that followed her journey. Petway's story is particularly heart-wrenching due to the misdiagnosis she received. Initially being told she was suffering from fibroids, which delayed the correct cancer diagnosis and treatment. Known for her vibrant spirit and the joy she brought to her followers, Petway was not just a beauty influencer. She was a dedicated wife and mother of two daughters, Kaylee, 10, and Zoe Lee, 3. Her passing has left an irreplaceable void in the lives of those who knew her personally and those who were inspired by her content online. Petway courageously shared her diagnosis and the realities of her illness with her followers, maintaining a strong faith and an unbreakable spirit throughout her journey. She and her husband of 12 years faced the challenges brought on by her illness together, exemplifying strength love, and resilience in the face of adversity. Her sister's tribute highlighted Jessica's impact as a source of strength, wisdom, and laughter. Petway's loss is felt deeply, not only as a personal tragedy for her family, but as a loss to the broader community that admired her resilience and openness in sharing her fight against cancer. Jessica Petway's legacy is a poignant reminder of the importance of accurate medical diagnosis and the power of sharing one's story to inspire and support others. As we mourn her passing, we also celebrate her life and the light she brought into the world. Our thoughts are with her family during this incredibly difficult time as they navigate life without her infectious laughter, love, and guidance. Kenneth Mitchell, a cherished Canadian actor renowned for his dynamic roles in both television and film, passed away at the age of 49 on February 24, 2024. Born in Toronto on November 25, 1974, Mitchell's journey into acting began after studying landscape architecture at the University of Guelph. His early career saw him transitioning from working in landscape architecture to embracing the craft of acting, thanks to a serendipitous connection through a friend. Mitchell's acting career flourished with significant roles, including his portrayal of Ralph Cox in the 2004 sports biopic Miracle, alongside Kurt Russell, and as Eric Green in the CBS television series Jericho from 2006 to 2008. Jericho showcased his talent, earning a dedicated fan base that successfully campaigned for the show's return after its initial cancellation. His versatility as an actor was further demonstrated in The Astronaut Wives Club, and through his varied roles in Star Trek Discovery, where he portrayed three recurring Klingon characters, as well as Aurelio, a character that mirrored his real-life battle with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Mitchell's personal life was marked by his loving marriage to actress Susan May Pratt in May 2006, with whom he had two children. 
His diagnosis with ALS in February 2020 profoundly impacted his life and career. Yet Mitchell continued to inspire both fans and colleagues by integrating his condition into his roles, notably in Star Trek Discovery and The Old Man, where his characters used mobility aids reflective of his off-screen reality. Kenneth Mitchell's legacy is not only defined by his contributions to the entertainment industry, but also by his courage and determination in the face of ALS. His work on screen and his advocacy off screen have left an indelible mark on the hearts of many, making him a beloved figure in Canadian acting and beyond. Mike Bigum, also known by his gaming moniker, Broly Legs, was a prominent figure in the competitive gaming world, particularly known for his skill in Street Fighter. His remarkable journey as a player who competed despite his physical challenges ended with his passing at the age of 35 on March 19th. Begum was not just a competitive gamer, he was an inspiration, showcasing extraordinary determination and skill. Born with arthrogryposis, a condition that severely limited the movement of his joints and muscle growth, Begum defied expectations by becoming a top-ranking Street Fighter player, using his face to operate game controllers. Throughout his career, Begum achieved significant milestones, including being ranked the Hash One Chun Li player worldwide in Ultra Street Fighter IV from 2013 to 2017, and placing 25th in Street Fighter V at the 2022 Evolution Championship Series. His story was not just about overcoming personal challenges, but also about breaking barriers in the competitive gaming community, proving that talent and determination know no physical bounds. Begum's legacy extends beyond his gaming achievements. He was an advocate for gamers with disabilities, working closely with the Able Gamers charity to improve accessibility in gaming. He also contributed to the Street Fighter League, participated in documentaries, and shared his life story in his autobiography, My Life Beyond the Floor, providing a beacon of hope and inspiration for many. The news of his death has left a void in the hearts of many within the fighting game community and beyond. Tributes poured in from fellow gamers, including Knuckle Dew and Maximilian Dude, reflecting the impact of Begum's life and career. As the gaming world mourns the loss of Broly Legs, his legacy of perseverance, skill, and advocacy for inclusivity in gaming continues to inspire. Breaking news of the day. News 1. The internet has recently been swept up in a whirlwind of conspiracy theories concerning Kate Middleton, transforming from niche speculations to mainstream obsession. This saga reflects a broader phenomenon of mistrust and skepticism fueled by social media's echo chambers. Researchers and TikTok influencers alike have noted a perfect storm of factors. Gamification of social platforms, declining trust in media and government, and a rise in conspiratorial thinking, further amplified by potential bot campaigns. In an era where digital narratives can rapidly evolve, Middleton's absence from the public eye post-Christmas, followed by a doctored photo mishap, escalated into full-blown conspiracy theories. This situation showcases the dangerous combination of public curiosity, digital platforms' power, and the void created by the lack of official communication, which conspiracy theorists eagerly filled. Despite Middleton's announcement regarding her cancer diagnosis, the theories persist, morphing into new narratives about the nature of her announcement itself. This incident not only underscores the pervasive nature of conspiracy theories in the digital age, but also raises concerns about the ease with which public figures can become targets of baseless speculation. It calls for a critical examination of our collective relationship with information and the mechanisms by which we seek and interpret news in the modern world. News 2. In an unexpected turn of events, the residences of well-known rap mogul Sean Diddy Combs in Florida and Los Angeles were subject to official visits by authorities on Monday, prompting widespread speculation and concern. The nature of these visits remains undisclosed, but they have inevitably brought unwanted attention to Combs, diverting focus from his notable career accomplishments, 
including Grammy wins and groundbreaking music with Bad Boy Records. Currently, Combs finds himself navigating legal complexities arising from these events. Amidst the unfolding situation, social media platforms have seen a flurry of discussions, with some unfounded claims circulating about Combs' potential arrest, particularly on TikTok. However, both law enforcement agencies and Combs' representatives have refrained from providing detailed information about the visits, leaving much to speculation. As the events continue to unfold, the facts behind the allegations remain uncertain, leaving many in the music community eager for clarity amidst this evolving legal scenario.